Looks like a big slug is coming to San Diego Comic-Con. Hey guys, it's Jay! Welcome back to the channel. Guys, this is absolutely crazy. As San Diego Comic-Con is literally just a day away in terms of preview day, we're getting to see some brand new figures being teased for release on that same evening. Guys, today... The brand new Vintage Collection release was just dropped, and I want to take a deep dive into this and see exactly what we can expect for this wonderful 40th anniversary Vintage Collection release. Guys, if you enjoyed this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post it to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Guys, without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this and see exactly what was released today, and just in time for San Diego Comic-Con 2023. Let's have a look. I'm going to give a huge shout out to Rogers & Co. on PMK for providing these high resolution images. Thank you so much for your support, RNC PMK. It really is appreciated. Guys, this is crazy. Just literally on the, on the eve of San Diego Comic-Con preview day, we're getting our first look at the Vintage Collection Jabba the Hutt set. This is crazy. Now, the press release that was provided to me didn't actually say if this was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. It just sort of said that it would be available for pre-order exclusively on HasbroPulse.com starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. July 19th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I want to take a moment and take a look at this because this, this is something that really hits the nostalgia vibes here, guys. This is crazy. Let's have a look at this. There is Jabba the Hutt. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, everybody. And what a treat this is going to be. After all, vintage examples of Jabba the Hutt are quite expensive. I mean, just taking a look at this eBay listing here, seller is asking for $233.75 for a complete edition, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we see Jabba the Hutt there. We see Salacious Rum, the trapdoor floor, the hookah jar, and that wonderful box, which isn't in the best of conditions, but I mean, I'm hoping that they include something at least close to this because they didn't actually show us any of the packaging design in this particular pack out. But this is absolutely amazing, and I'm really excited to see this version coming to San Diego Comic-Con 2023. Here we can see everything that's included with the set. We see Jabba the Hutt, we see Salacious, the trap door throne although this version doesn't actually have the trapdoor included obviously this is just the throne the trapdoor is actually sliding underneath to the rancor pit and we even have his loyal droid the smelter droid 8d8 this is an incredible set and comes with a host of different accessories let's take a deeper dive into this guys because this this is going to be a lot of fun here we have just the basic set as it would have pretty much been uh, as an equivalent to the original kenner released set back in the day and it still includes quite a bit more if you really break it down we can see jabba the hutt salacious crumb there we see that it also includes a set of chalices some plates a whole bunch of different row pillows, some skins, probably animal in nature, the hookah jar, and the guardrail, as well as the throne itself. This is a wonderful set. I can't believe it's being offered for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. It is a wonderful set, bar none, and I really love the way they've recreated it here in vintage collection style. This is incredible. Here we get a closer look at Jabba himself, and honestly, I really do appreciate all the work they put into this brand new Jabba. I can't recall if he's already been released previously, but I do love the way they've actually put him together. The facial sculpt looks exactly like he did out of the movie. I love the colors. I love the detail. If you haven't gotten this set before, this is a wonderful opportunity to pick this guy up one more time. The hookah jar itself is really fun. We can see the small little toads in the bottom, and of course, all that crazy green liquid. The hose is just arcing enough for Jabba to hold on to. And of course, that guardrail is looking so great. Again, looking exactly like it did in the movie. I can't wait. Here we get a closer look at Salacious Crumb, and he does look very, very cool. I love the fact that they can get this wonderful tempo as detailed as they can. I mean, we can still see the yellow of his little eyes. That's super difficult to do at this stage. Right now, he's sitting on top of his master. He likes to take little bites out of... Jabba's leg, but it doesn't seem to bother Jabba for some strange reason. We can see some of those chalices that are positioned there along with that little saucer cup. And these wonderful throw pillars, they actually look like they're made of some soft material, some soft goods. That is a really wonderful detail, and I'm glad that they're including it into the set. Here we have 8D8. He's actually the smelter droid who R2-D2 and C-3PO encountered when they were being dolled out their instructions. This particular droid is a bit sadistic. He enjoys torturing other droids. And who knows, he might enjoy torturing people as well. We just have no idea at this stage. 
He does make another cameo appearance in The Book of Boba Fett, which is a wonderful nod to the original series, and I love the fact that they're including him here in this set. Another detailed shot of Jabba coming in really, really close. He looks absolutely amazing. And he's also holding that little frog snack, if you will. I love that. He really is just such a grotesque creature, but I love the fact that he's being reintroduced into the vintage line for the 40th anniversary. This is so great, guys. Here's a bit of an overhead view, and you can really see how that guardrail just wraps around the entire piece. And we can see a really detailed shot of the frog itself inside of the jar. There is no liquid inside, but you can, of course, fill it up with a little bit of water, give it that wonderful effect. And we can see those throw pillows. They really do have this wonderful texture. I think they are soft goods in nature. Here is the throne itself. And without Jabba, we can see some really great details in here. The guardrail is wonderfully detailed. However, there is, or at least it doesn't appear that there's any additional deco on it. It's just the singular sculpt. But that's not really a big deal. I don't mind that. There's no additional wash on the hookah jar either, but that's okay. The, the colors and the simulated liquid really do make it feel like the original vintage set. I love these throw pillows. They really are the highlight of the set, believe it or not. They are what appears to be soft goods, and they seem to be filled with some sort of, I don't know, foam or something. It really looks, really adds that little bit of detail that you need, along with these animal skins. Of course, that's how Jabba sat on his throne to make himself more comfortable. I love the sculpting that's in the... I'd like to call them door knockers, but they're actually more like um, ornamental in nature. Just decorating the throne itself. It looks so great. And of course, it seems to come with these additional little knickknacks like the chalices and of course this wonderful plate. It's so great seeing this realized again for the vintage collection. Here are the three main figures that are actually included with the set. 8D8, Jabba the Hutt himself, and of course Salacious Rome. They are quite the trio. Star Wars, the vintage collection, Jabba the Hutt set comes with everything that you see here. The throne itself, the hookah jar, and rail. Those three chalices, the extra little frog, the dish, and all of these soft goods. Just a wonderful collection all, all thrown together and just in time for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Guys, get yourselves ready. This will be going up tomorrow, July 19th, exclusively on HasbroPulse.com and retailing for $89.99. Guys, San Diego Comic-Con is upon us, and it looks like they keep throwing brand new stuff for us to put our money down on. So guys, it's uh, not exactly 100% sure if this is an actual San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I do know it's only available on HasbroPulse.com, so mark your calendars down, because tomorrow, July 18th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, this particular set for the Venture Collection Jabba Throne Room Bundle will actually be available for pre-order for $89.99. This is crazy, guys. I'm loving this set. Really reminds me of the original Vintage Kenner collection. The only thing missing is really the trap door, which does not make any sense in the Vintage collection. But for this and the upcoming Jabba's Palace, this is going to be crazy, everybody. Are you guys interested in this? Is this something that you're going to be picking up during San Diego Comic-Con? Or is, just there, is there way too much stuff at San Diego Comic-Con for you to even bother picking this up right away and hope that this will stick around until after the event? Or is the Java throne room just something that you're not interested in at all and you've already purchased or at least pre-ordered the Java's palace, which sort of already has something like that, and you're willing to leave this one behind? Guys, leave those comments in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. And if you're in a position to help out the channel, guys, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons and channel members of this channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. It really means the world to me. Guys, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Your Jedi powers do not affect me, boy. Good journey, everyone. May the Force be with you. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.